TLO, what's popping? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the uh, family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Little warning screen. Might need it, might not need it. Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch a live stream usernames at the bottom. And we also got Patreon where we watch UK series, UK movies, and Premier League highlights. Tap in. Links below. You know what it is, man. This is uh, the All or Nothing pot. The All or Nothing. Wait. The All or Nothing with Billy Moore. I thought there used to be podcasts in there. Huh. Shield Roll. Kung Fu Expert Attacks Me. Police Intervention with Bruce Lee Wanna Be. <laughs> Who be making his titles? That's crazy. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me, Billy. Hello, everyone. We're all good. A big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, and comments on this channel. So, Belmont Rose, the new op bed. How are you, girl? You all right? What are you doing? What are you up to? On a little chat. Oh, Say hello. I'm going to fly in my Nah, I'm all right. Sure. Yeah. Have you got any odds on you? What are you doing? Nah, I'm alright. Say hello. Nah, I'm alright. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you on the streets? Yeah. You crafting? Yeah. How long have you, how long have you been working? God, I don't know since I was about 21. Wow, how old are you now? 46. Wow. God damn, it's time to hang your jersey up, man. Hang it up. Oh. What are you doing on the streets, girl? It's drugs, isn't it? Yeah. Drugs, baby. Okay, so this is Rachel. I was just bumped into Rachel on Belmont Road. Now, is Belmont Road the new horse area for the red light district? It's the horse area for the red light district. I pop the girls on Shoe Road. It was charged like five and ten. Yeah. The girls on Belmont cost a little bit more. <laughs> so what do do? Why is that? Because it's a new area. So drivers are coming up Belmont Road looking for like not as rough girls, not as rough. Yeah. Even though I've been on the streets on and off since I was 21, I'm now 47. Have you ever had a rough though, Rachel? Yeah, no. You've just been telling me you're freezing. Ain't you? I am, I'm freezing. I'm just depressed. I'm so I just came off methadone to go on Subitex. I'm rallying because the Subitex is not kicking in yet. Yeah. So I've came out tonight to try and get myself sources, which is the only way I know how to make money. Have you had any luck? No. <laughs> you, were ask, you were asking me for business, then, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I was asking you for business, yeah. I'll ask anyone. When you're desperate, you'll ask anyone for yeah. business, yeah. What was life like before you took drugs, Rachel? I had my first go ahead of when I was 14. And my father was very proud of me and explained to me that the new drug I'd just tried smack was in fact heroin, which took it up around, but he used syringes. And this was on tin foil. So by the time I had my teeth in jail, I'd be 21st in jail, in and out of care homes. That's crazy. That's crazy. She was born into this. Her father applauded her for this. This is crazy. Her story is wild. I'm just, just an abusive life. And the only way I knew how to survive was by selling myself. Was your dad on the gear, yeah? Yeah. Is he still with you? Still with no, us? No, he's dead. He's dead. Got found dead. The beds in Hastings with a syringe hanging out of his neck. Three people at a funeral. That must be absolutely like heartbreaking and sad, yeah. Scary, scary. Doesn't that ever worry you? Yeah, I'm like, trying to get out of it. Have you got family? Kids no, and that? No, no. 
you look in that sense that's the thing man that h is a hard hard one to kick and then they give you methadone and st other stuff that's that's even harder to kick like you just trading one evil for the next but this one's prescribed like yeah like i heard it's best to go cold turkey and just sweat it out and do all what you need to do but you gotta want to change yeah, but you've got a roof over it and you're okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're on the subbies. Yeah, just switch to them now. From and what's the next step? Are you going to try and get off them as well? Try and get the injection once a month. And then... Work your way. Yeah, work my way down. I know it's... Before I die, I've had pneumonia 15 times. I've got it now, that's why my voice is so croaky. Yeah. So your pneumonia is kicking in? Yeah, yeah. Well, you best get it. I want to say thanks for chatting to me. Okay. Appreciate that, Rachel. All right. And I wish you well. She got to get off these streets. Like, she got pneumonia. She risking her life every day without the ammonia. M pneumonia, I mean. Thank you. Wow. Poor Rachel there. Eh? She's just destroyed. So the new watch spot for the girls charging that a little bit more is Belmont Road in Anfield. As I was driving up, there was just about half a dozen girls that I'd never seen before. Mad one. How was life treating you, girl? Oh, very well. How old are you? 28. Wow, you're on the streets, lad. Wow, no, I'm feeling more now, aren't I? I am. How are you getting on? Morning. Right, this is young Andrea. She's only 28. Yeah. How long have you been on the streets, girl? Um, nearly seven years. Since you were 21? Yeah, uh, I had my little girl at 22, sort of got my shit together, and then I fell, fell back into, like, crack. Um, and then right. it, it went from crack to, obviously, to, to smack as well. Yeah. But anyone that says they can spend a night on these streets and not resort to some form of substance yeah. is a liar. <laughs> it must be, it's absolutely freezing. Yeah. I'm absolutely plastic right now. Yeah. Boy. You know what's crazy? I heard like some people like like they need to be out here to get money to support their life or whatever. But then they have to be high to be able to do this type of job. And then it, it just turns into a vicious circle. Then they hooked on it. Now they now they out here to feed the habit and not out here to like live. I don't know, it's, it's, it's all down bad. You don't make money wearing men's clothes. What was your, warm. What was life like for you before? I'm a trained beauty, a uh, beautician. Mm. I, I'm a trained makeup artist. Um, life was good for me before. I was quite privileged to grow up in Cornwall. Yeah. But there's a famous saying, you can take the girl out of Liverpool, but you can't take Liverpool out of the girl. And what was the contributing factors that? And I want to let everybody know you cannot be a functional crackhead. <laughs> Respectfully, you cannot be a functional, be functional and doing crack, smack, H, any of it. Not you're gonna turn out the way you're gonna turn out. Ali, let's just say in drugs. Need determination to not become an alcoholic. But that's just making an excuse. At the end of the day, I've come to terms with no. Yeah. Um, I've always made a lot of excuses. Never really. I blamed a lot of things in my life for the way it's turned out, but I've got no one else to blame anymore but me. And that's just, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know you've just hit the nail on the head. We love blaming other people for the way we are. And I used yeah. to do it all the time. They can yeah. stay at fault, they the blame for it. Yeah. And, and, and now that I've got a little bit older, I understand I've got to take responsibility. Yeah. And I had those choices. And I've got to be Definitely. accountable for how I be here today. So your little girl, who's looking after her now? Um, she's under special guardianship order. She's in a safe place, living the best life. She, kn I knew she needed more than what I could give her. her. Yeah. She deserved more. Never man needed it, she deserved it. And what medication are you on? Um, I just... Believe it or not, right, I went to get a, I went to get a script yesterday. Yeah. I'm trying to sort me. I am trying. Please do. Like, I, I've applied for places I can... I wonder how many lives he's, like, changed by just having a conversation. 
I'm pretty sure, like, <clears throat> he's been doing this for a long time, I think. I'm pretty sure he's changed some lives. Just by stopping and speaking and giving his testimony, you know what I'm saying? Mayor's housing. Yeah. Um, new start, things like that. And my aunt's starting to get me act together, like, but... I tried to get a script and my chapel said that because I'm up here yeah. and I'm in the working area, I'm not engaging with them. Yeah. Um, so they denied me, they wouldn't give me a, a script or anything yesterday, hence why I was there coming back up here. It's shit, isn't it? Because you know when you're, you're in the um, grave, it's a struggle, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. Like, I miss the person I was before. I do. I do. You're as a muff now? Yeah. I've got time to change. You have, man. You're 20, what, 28? Come on, you've got your whole life ahead of you. You do, you're still 28. Don't be out here 46. I'm a baby to most of these. You know, and, and, uh, do any of these give you guidance and say to you? Some of them. Yeah. A lot of them, to be fair, like, because I've been around for so many years now, like, I am, like, the baby of them all, like. Yeah. And a lot of them do look out for me, yeah. but that's because... Look, you don't want to end up like Rachel. I just I been, she is absolutely destroyed there. Loads of pneumonia, she can't breathe properly. She's desperate for anyone. Yeah. I just said the same thing. Don't you don't need to do that. No, I don't no. want to be like that. This is Andrea's other half, Thomas. <laughs> right. How are you, lads? You just got out of jug, haven't you? Yesterday. Tell us what's going on. The street life. Gone on the street, I met my partner on the street, and um, I've decided to get myself locked up to sort my shit out. <laughs> Did it work? No, it has. I've sorted mine out. So now it's now time it's, for Andrea? Now it's for Andrea's part. You're just supporting it the best way you can. That's insane. So, like, the, the, like the only option to really get any help is to get locked up and go what? To cold turkey or whatever. They probably give them the meds they need in there, the... They tell them like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a whatever addict, and they give them what they need. And bro said, I went to jail to get my life shorted. That's tough. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. And what's your, uh, your plans for the future together? We want to start living. Yeah. Sick of surviving. This is survival. So much, lads, you can't live a life beyond your oh, wildest yeah. dreams. You know, lads, seriously. I'll give it up. If you'd have seen him three months ago, Billy, he's, 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 he looks so <laughs> well. Do you feel a lot better? Oh, yeah. The best thing I've done. Do you know what, lad? Thanks for the saying hello as well. Appreciate oh, yeah. it. And I wish you both well. Do you know what? I want to say thanks for your time as well. I hope things work out for you. Thank too. you. Yeah, so this is the new hotspot. So, I can't remember, like, it's actually, like, legal to be out here in this part of Liverpool, selling that meow. You cold, kid? Hello, Lindsay. How are you? I'm okay. What brings you to Liverpool from St. Helens? Domestic violence. How long have you been on the streets now? Uh, about a year and a half now. Have you had enough? Yeah. Freezing cold, little scarf on. Yeah. Trying to get off the punter. It's not the best, is it, really? No. It's not have you the had best any luck tonight? No, nah, just come out. <laughs> so, how long have you been using? Um, I've been using for like three and a half years. You're only small, aren't you? How small are you? F uh, four foot five. Four foot five, wow. Yeah. Four foot five? This is actually. Wow. Oh, you couldn't tell before, but now you see that. How small she is? <laughs> That, I'm small. She's smaller. I mean, have you got kids in there? Yeah, three. Are they okay? Yeah, my oldest is 21, my youngest is 18. Your oldest is 21? Mm -hmm. You don't look old enough to 21, have... 18 and 17. You don't look old enough mm -hmm. to have kids that age? She doesn't look old at all. She needs to stop before it starts taking that real effect on her. She's still got youthfulness. <laughs> What's it like? Her DNA is blessed. Her genes. Like in this area, because it's changed. Because down there, Shield Road, have you ever been down there? No. This is the new area. I've been, into, I've been into the town centre, but that's it. Right, you look after yourself, right? Take care. Hey, he's known me, don't worry. Have you brought them some food? <laughs> I owe general food. Some caviar, what have you got? 
Oh no, this is mine. I always, I look it's after me for my food, mate. Gotta. Big sweets. It's a of hair, I'm saying to you. Inch your boss. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little <laughs> leg. Is that a nickname? Yeah. Look, well, you know what I'm made up that you're all looking after each other. Nice Stay one, safe, right? Yeah. Take care, Leanne. Take care, right? It's a nice one for that. Well, there's a lot of sad stories on these streets. Young girls just selling a soul to get high. They've definitely had enough. You know, you see them there, Rachel Andy and that young girl there. All right, lad. <laughs> Can't believe it's just bumped into this young kid. He's only 18 years old. Right, Andrew, you're on the streets. You're yeah. telling me that you started to smoke crack. Your dad's dead. You know, your mum's... What's, what's yeah, going on? My mum's an alcoholic. Fucking... She's been in an altered the hour as far as I can remember. Oh, my God. Bro is just trying to cope with life. He's trying to... He's trying to numb... The cars that he was dealt is impossible, and he's just trying to numb. He's just trying to get away from the real world. These are the cases, man. My dad's dead from Jack Nedun. I've been in case since I was 13, and I've just like lost the plus men mentally, to be honest. And then I've tried to like take drugs to cope with it. And it's just I've just lost the plot, to be honest with you. What are you doing? Are yeah. you on a shield road at like one in the morning? Oh. All just stupid things. I'm trying to get money to so fucking fucking smoke stupid things. I guess. Bro. Dude's looking after you. 18 years old. What's going on? She's um, bro, uh, my nan brought me up, and she's the only person I care about. To be honest with you, that's the only person. You're not on the streets, are you? Have you got somewhere to go? Yeah, I was, but I've got a flat now. Yeah. And you're asking me how I did it, how I got clean, and yeah. is it ever possible? It is possible, you know. What are you going to do tonight? I don't know, I was trying to figure a way out and cope without blocking things out, but I don't know. What's that? What is it that you... That's sad. <clears throat> That's real sad. Because once he said my dad is blah, 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 and my mom is blah, 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 I already knew what he was trying to do with this habit. You're blocking out? Flashbacks of being a child and all mad things, like... Have you ever tried to get any counselling? Mm. I'm like, I don't know how to react if I spoke about these things, like, it's like really mad things you wouldn't expect, like, yeah. they're flashbacks of watching my mum cut herself with knives or seeing me with no clothes on, all horrible things you wouldn't expect, and yeah. it just, it really gets to me head, to be honest with you. Sorry to hear about that, Andy. So, well, yeah. lad, I just hope that you're uh, showing out, you're out there. Yeah. I'll give it a little bit of information off camera now, and uh, we'll have a little chat, all right? Yeah. Thanks for your time. You look after yourself. Thanks for your question. You can ask me whatever you want. This, I've got uh, Chuck Norris here. He's heavy, this kid, you know. How much for the two of Chuck? I've got fucking Bruce Lee. I've got Bruce Lee, yeah. <laughs> you be, hey, put one thing up, you become the cop. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's packing in now. Right, here's the police. Here's the police. Here's the police behind you. Yeah, yeah, here's the police. Here's the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's he doing? He's packing in, lad. Pack it in, pack it in, here's the police. Pack it in, pack it in. He's a film of me. You've just come over and asked me a question. He's filming me, I don't know why. Right. What's going on, Jensen? I have no idea, I'm talking to this young man. And he's asking me why I'm speaking to him. Why are you filming me? Because you come to me while I'm filming. And ask you why you And then you try to attack me. I didn't try to attack you. Yeah. just have to up. It's on camera, buddy. Bro said, <laughs> lost his footing, rolled down the hill or anything. What's he just done? I just seen you go towards his gent. What's going on? You're, doing, you're showing me that you're a cool. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. All right, all right, now you're coming here, fella. Hey, yeah. Ultimately, I've just seen you approach him. Do you mind just for a second? I said to him, I'm, I'm a black belt and short and end today. And I fell over. And that was it. End up. Right. He's filming me. Hey, you just told me that he's assaulted you, is that the case? I never no. Assaulted. Not the case. No, that's he's fair enough. He's just told me the case. Yeah, Are just you happy to give me your details. 
Yeah. No, I'm not giving you my details. Know, I don't need you to give you my details. No, ultimately, like yeah. I said, if there's allegations of assault and stuff like that, that's why. No, he didn't assault me. It's okay. Move on. You take care. You Teddy O'Neill. Yeah. Can yeah. I give you a right. go? You going home now? Yes. <laughs> right. get off there. Yeah, bro's videos just be craziest stuff be happening. Yeah. Off you go then. Take care. All right, see you later. Can't walk him. Gents, yeah. leave him alone. Be nice yeah. way possible. Thank you to that. What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on with Chuck Norris there? Doing all those mad Cobra moves. Coming at me, you rapid. Right. It's no business of his who I speak to and who speaks to me. But he approached me, asked me the question. Started getting a little bit funny. So, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Move on. Man, it's busting out here. It's, you know, forget it, it's like two in the morning. I see you. Oh, there's a vaccine going on there, lad. I'm all right. You all right? <sighs> to live on this road got to be crazy. You can understand why the girls don't crash down here. It's too busy. Fucking violence, volatile. Oh, violent, volatile, okay. Full of rag asses. Fucking madness, you've got it all going on here on Shield Road. Now, fellas, kicking off. Quizzing you about what you're doing. I'm naughty, you're naughty, you. <laughs> Lad, you're the one who's blagging everyone you're buying bifters when you're not. Trying to get after brass. Let's have a ride. Right. Right. Moving on. Once again, his, thanks for watching. His videos are inspirational and entertaining all in the same. Take care. You take care too, man. See you, see you next time, man. TLL, leave a like, comment. I'm gone.